All right, so um, moving right along to our next Patreon request, and this one comes from my good friend, uh, Chris, a.k.a. the Mountain Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you once again for this Patreon request. And um, this one's going to be interesting because this is swapping the Fantastic Fours. Uh, what would it be like if the Fantastic Four had all their powers swapped? Which has been a thing in What If Comics before, and I think it has been in a story arc once or twice in hell. It was even in a movie, a really god-awful sequel movie in one of the Fantastic Four. In the Basically, the Fantastic Four franchises had tons of swapping powers or, you know, doing this or doing, you know, swapping powers. Or, what if this character had those powers? What would it be like if that character had that one's powers? So, that's what this one, this video is all about. But, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can hit me, send, hit the fourth tier, excuse me, where, and you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But, other than that, hope, hope you all enjoyed this, and let's get started with this. So, Chris basically had me with a list of, um, how it would go for this version. We have Reed getting the Rockman abilities, Sue with Human Torch, and uh, Johnny with the elastic powers, and Ben with the invisibility and force fields. So that's our ver that's this new incarnate this version of the Fantastic Four. What would it be like if these if these guys had their powers all swapped? So let's let's work our way up um, with starting with Ben. Ben, you see, here's the thing with the Fantastic Four. I don't think a lot of people talk about is that the Fantastic Four their abilities are always like play to their strengths like play to it like reed always likes to stretch his mind and that hence why he can stretch his abilities to the extent of how he uses his mind johnny is a um fiery young uh, young man hence why he's the human torch you have sue who her whole thing is that she hates being seen through as a person and that kind of complicates with it complicates with her abilities um and of course, Ben is the rock man. And and Ben Ben's not smart. Like, let's be real. Ben's smart, but he's not book smart. So what do you think he is? And that's why he he solves things with his fists. When push comes to shove, Ben will always solve things by punching it. So that's what we're doing here, is that Ben now has the ability of force fields and invisibility. That doesn't really like Ben's not going to understand that he can make force fields and all, but he'll understand invisibility. And be like, ah, oh, crap. I don't read. I don't know how to turn this off. So that's how I feel like it would be at the start, where where Ben would be like, you know, at least I, you know, at least I can go out in public, right? Like, or I can just whoop, go on. <laughs> Excuse me. So that would be kind of fun to see, like. Uh, ben playing with that and also learn like I can even see like him like t putting little force field bubbles on his fists and making them into like boxing gloves for him whenever he's uh, going into clobbering time also he'd probably ruin his uh, stealth by shouting it's clobbering time let's be real that's what would happen Moving on now to Johnny with the... What if Johnny had the elastic abilities? Johnny with the elastic abilities, let's be real, what he's going to do first, guys. You know what he's going to do first. He's going to enhance... He's going to enhance himself and just walk around, like, walk around the Baxter building and just be like, Hey, hey, Reed, bring a wheelbarrow. I want the... <laughs> I'm going to wheel this around uh, Main Street. Call the neighbors. I want them to see this. <laughs> just walk into clubs like... Hello, ladies. I'd like to introduce you to Goliath. We had to order special elast elastic pants to hold him. If you know what show that's from, you're awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I think it would, Johnny would really have an understanding of it. But that's what Johnny would do all the time. He'd just be like. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be like, who needs Viagra? Stretch. Also, his new catchphrase would be, stretch on! <laughs> um, but, so, you know, there's that. Next up, we have um, Re um, Sue with uh, the Firestorm abilities, which she did have during a story arc. Um, she did have uh, Johnny's a fire, uh, you know, human torch abilities uh, during, I think... 
during the Disassembled story arc, um, when Avengers Disassembled was going on, um, that um, there was a story arc, I think in Wade's run, where they had um, Johnny and Sue's abilities had switched during all of that. So how I would do it with here is that um, Sue, if she had, like, if that was the permanent thing after the, being hit with the cosmic radiation, Sue would definitely be using that fire to whole new levels. Because uh, Sue is a very smart person. And could you, and, and Johnny, not to take anything away, he's more like, I'm going to throw fire at it. Sue would learn to use, like, different levels of fire and how to use temperatures to very devastating levels of effect. So if you thought she was the most lethal character on the Fantastic Four to begin with, you ain't seen nothing when she has Johnny's abilities. And that just leaves good old Stretch, or should I say, Reed Richards. Oh boy. See, Reed, if he would have, if he be if he got Ben's fate and got the Rock Man ability, it be became a Rock Man. If he became the thing. Yeah, that would totally change the dichotomy of this entire team because everyone would be like, "Oh God, it's it's a monster! Run away!" And he'd be like, "No, fools! I'm I'm still Reed Richards." Reed would be like um, relegated to the back seat while like Johnny or Ben would be the designated leader because let's be real, no one's going to support a guy who looks like a golem. I'm sorry, Ben. <laughs> so it would definitely change that dichotomy and also would sue still that's the other big question is would sue still love ben i mean not ben um reed looking like that like that's another question or would she be hitting you know you know pounding some tuna shall we say with namor <laughs> um so that's another question. I think she might. Like, I think she can look beauty. She can see the beauty of the beast. I think Sue could. Um, but I know some people are like, no, it's all about looks. But to which I say, whatever. Anyway. Uh, and I think also Reed would be kind of fed up with himself. He'd be so angry because his hands would be so mutated. He couldn't use a keyboard or his lap. He'd have to change his whole way of life. And yeah, and I could just imagine like if this was in a in a Marvel multiverse, Ben would look at at, at Reed and go, "Ha! Now you know how it feels, Stretch." I'm also sorry for your loss. <laughs> I can't do a thing, boys. So yeah, so there you go, guys. Um, that's how I think it would go with the Fantastic Four uh, power switched. You guys, tell me in the comments below. Um, how do you think it would go if all the Fantastic Four? had their power swap just comment below let me know once again hope you all enjoyed this chris thank you once again for this uh patreon request and like i said earlier if you'd like to have a patreon request done just hit the link below head on over to my patreon where you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on youtube but other than that hope you all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in the multiverse